right, man. It's been the talk of the town right here, bro. It's been the talk of the town right here. The NBA ranked 2022, ranking the best players from 2022 to 2023 from 100 to 26. Then I think you go from uh 25 to like 11. I got them right here. Yeah. 10 to 6 and then 5 to 1. And I haven't seen none of them. All right. I ain't, I ain't seen none of them. Let's go ahead and get it started, bro. We're not really worried about the top. It's, it's really when we get to the top 26, but I mean, we'll, we'll see what these talking about. Number 100, Bogdan Bogdanovich. All right, I guess. I mean, Grant Williams, Mitchell Robinson, Kevin Love, Seth Curry, Keegan Murray. Ain't this a rookie? Isn't this a rookie? He ain't even played an NBA game yet. Nah, that's crazy, bro. You already got a rookie over over. Hey, never mind. I said we're not worried about it, but all right, come on. Brandon Clark. D'Angelo Russell, Christian Wood, Anthony Simons, Buddy Hill, Mike Conley, Yusuf Nurkic, Malcolm Brogdon, and Chris Stapps, Jordan Clarkson. Mm -hmm. I could I could argue Jordan Clarkson need a little bit a little higher, but Aaron Gordon, Paolo Bancaro. Already? Higher than Jordan Clarkson? Josh Giddy, Karis LeVert, Clint Capella, Lonzo Ball, Dylan Brooks, Ben Simmons. Come on, man. This, I mean, I know he ain't played, but come on, man. 76. I, I get he didn't play last year, but come on, bro. It's like we it's like when people don't play, y'all just forget what type of player they is. OG and Anobi, Harrison Barnes. You telling me you telling me Harrison I'm not saying Harrison ain't cold. You telling me Harrison Barnes better than Ben Simmons. And don't even come over here with yo Harrison Barnes can shoot. All right, bro, I I get that, but come on now. <coughs> John Collins, Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. didn't even play last year. He hired Ben Simmons too. That's crazy, bro. The hate y'all gotta watch out sometimes for the hate these these media outlets be having for players. Julius Randle, Ad Horford. Spencer Dinwiddie, Desmond Bain, Jalen Brunson, Miles Turner, Russell Westbrook. Damn, 65. Damn. Uh, Jeremy Grant, RJ Barrett, Jalen Green, Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Halliburton, Robert Williams III, Nikola Vucevic, Tobias Harris, Jordan Poole, De'Aaron Fox, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jared Allen, DeAndre Ayton, Jamal Murray, Mikael Bridges, Shea Gillis Alexander, DeMontis Savonis, Darius Garland, CJ McCollum, Tyrese Maxey, Draymond Green, DeJounte Murray, LaMelo Ball, Zion Williamson, Scotty Barnes, Fred Van Fleet, Clay Thompson, Evan Mobley, Kay Cunningham, Marcus Smart, Kai Ho. All right, y'all. So we got 47 subscribers. I really appreciate it if we can hit 50 by the end of this month or 50 by the end of the year hey maybe even 100 also youtube is telling me that 95.6 percent of y'all are not subscribed go ahead and sub up man and for the 4.4 percent of you that are subscribed thank you i appreciate it let's go ahead and get back to the video see i knew they was gonna do this bro i knew they was gonna do this bro listen 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 every media outlet out there i get he didn't take the vaccine bro how long are we gonna keep doing this, bro? How long? How long? How long are we gonna keep doing this? Like, okay, we get it. He didn't take it. He he probably not still gonna take it. But how long are we gonna keep doing this, bro? Thirty three. Kyrie Irving. Thirty three. Thirty three. There, there's people I haven't even seen yet that I know shouldn't be higher. Come on, bro. What do we like it or not, bro? Even even if you say well, he didn't play a lot of games last year, some of them really weren't his fault because the team told him he couldn't play. 
He he wanted to play. The team told him he couldn't play. Even though away games. They only let him play because they started losing. Let's keep it high. They only they, that's really the only reason they really let him come back. Cause they started losing. And they didn't want their record to go down. Cause when their record went down, that means fans get mad. So that's why they started letting him play in the second half. But still, bro, even when he came back from not playing, he was still better than at least probably 33 of these people. I'm saying 33 of these people. He was at least better than some of these people that's probably above him that I ain't seen yet. But 33, bro. Okay, 33. Andrew Wiggins. Okay, I mean, he he, he just came off of, off of winning the chip. I give it to him. Better than Kyrie, though. You know, it's uh, top 25. I got it. He probably top 30. I'm probably saying Andrew Wiggins top 30. Chris Middleton. See, I can kind of see that, but not really over Kyrie. Because, I mean, yeah, let's be honest. Because without Chris Middleton, the Bucks they probably wouldn't really go nowhere. I mean, they got Giannis, but Giannis can only take them so far. He he can only take them so far. He would really be, he would really be, be, be low-key on Chris Middleton, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all seen what happened in some of the games when they ain't had Chris Middleton? Hey. Pascal Siakam. Okay, come on, man. Pascal good, but over Kyrie, bro. Come on, bro. Brandon Ingram. Okay, listen. I'm literally a Brandon Ingram fan, bro. There's no way y'all got him over Kyrie, bro. There's no way. There's no way, bro. There's no way he is over Kyrie ever, bro. This is coming from a Brandon Ingram fan, bro. There's no way y'all got him over Kyrie Irving, bro. At number 29, I like that for Ingram. Even though he went down, so it's not really an upgrade, but still, over Kyrie. This started looking like a bad start to me, no cap. DeMar DeRozan. I mean, I can see that. He was kind of low-key having a, it was like a, a low-key MVP season. And then once he got to the playoffs, he did kind of go down a little bit, but... Okay, I can I can potentially see that over Kyrie. Potentially. Zach Levine, not so much. Zach Levine cold, but Kyrie, come on now. Drew Holiday. I mean, on the defensive side, of course. Drew Holiday was clutch too. With with that Bucks team, Drew Holiday was clutch too. But but I'ma just keep saying it, bro. Okay, that's twenty six. So now let's see twenty five people better than Kyrie. Look at this. All right. Number 25, Anthony Edwards. Listen, I know eight Anthony Edwards. He just came off a spectacular season. You know what I'm saying? You can pretty much kind of say he, he led the Timberwolves to the playoffs. But come on, bro. Over you, over you know who I'm finna say. Come on, come on, man, come on, man. Donovan Mitchell, like I'm saying, Donovan Mitchell code too. The Jazz didn't really have a good a good season last year, you know what I'm saying? So they started tanking. But hey, you know, yeah, over. Y'all gonna hear me keep saying this a lot. Bam, out of bio. I can see that as a bit. I can see that as a bit. Not really, but. I can, I can, I can, you can make an argument for it. Jalen Brown, again, low key, low key, but you could probably make an argument for it. Chris Paul, now, I'm gonna keep it 100, man. Chris Paul, I don't know, man, because Chris Paul, he be going crazy in the regular season. And then when you get to the playoffs, it's just, it never fails for him, bro. It's like, when you get to, when you get to the playoffs, it's like people just, they just set a timer. And they just like, when this timer go out, Chris Paul going to be out the playoffs. And he's not winning the ring. And it happens every single year, bro. Every single year. Chris Paul, number 21. You can make an argument for it. I mean, he did him and Devin Booker did. I would say him and Devin Booker, but I mean, let's be honest. Devin, Book, Devin Booker wasn't doing it by himself, so I would say Chris Paul got the Suns to that top seed in the West. 
So I I say Chris Paul can be over Kyrie. Anthony Davis, I say that again. Not being biased because I'm a Lakers fan, but I can I can see I can see I can say AD over Kyrie. That that's that's not wild. Bradley Bill. Now, Bradley Bill is an amazing scorer. But are you serious? Over Kyrie. Y'all just doing this just to do it at this point. Y'all just doing this just to do it at this point. I ain't gonna say nothing, man. Rudy Gobert. Okay, come on now. This gotta be for defense. Even if it is for defense, are you serious? Are you serious? Rudy Gobert not trash and nothing like that, but come on now. Over. I don't even gotta say the name at this point. Over. Okay. Jimmy Butler. You can make an argument for that. You can. Trey Young. Still not gonna lie, I wouldn't put him on Kyrie. I would. I would not put Trey Young over Kyrie. Trey Young good though. He 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 coming into his element. Steph Curry low key slowly passing the torch. Slowly, slowly passing the torch. It's not there yet though. But I I still can't see it, bro. Not over Kyrie. Not over Kyrie. Fifteen Paul George. You can make an argument for it. I mean he he one of the top two way players in the league. I see it. I can see it. I can see it. Now, he did get injured, but Damian Lillard over Kyrie? Hold on, bro. Let me let me let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Last year, Dane played 29 games. Okay, yeah, he played 29 games. He averaged 24, but they say he had an injury. Okay, okay. But, bro, if I'm if I'm correct, bro. Kyrie also played 29 games and averaged 27. What the, how would... No cap. If Damian Lillard 14, shouldn't Kyrie be 13 or 15? There's no way. Kyrie not in top 15. If Damian Lillard is here, him and Kyrie play the same amount of games. Kyrie even averaged more. You could say Kyrie did better than Dame last season. You could literally say that. Yet, Dame is at 14 and Kyrie is at what? When he at like 33? And Kyrie is at 33. Come on, man. How long are we going to keep doing this to Kyrie, bro? I get it, man. I get it. He didn't take the shot. I get it. He don't got it. He don't got the, I get he don't got what we, you know. I ain't going to say it because, you know, they be watching. They might strike my video down or something like that. But I get it, bro. I get he. I get he. I get he take he take the shot, bro. But, but, bro, him and Dane basically had the same season, basically. And Kyrie averaged more and basically played better in in the season. Yet yeah, Dame is fourteen and Kyrie is thirty three. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. Am I the am I the only one not putting that together, bro? Kyrie really got left out the top 15, bro. If you say Kyrie had a top 15 player, or at least a top 20 player, bro, stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. You, you want him to, you, 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 you get, you letting that, you letting that shot get to your head that bad to where you say he not a top 20 player no more? Okay, bro. 13 cards in the downs. I mean, eh. Eh, I, I, I mean, I guess, cool. 
I, I see it better than <laughs> better than I don't know, but hey, you know, Kawhi Leonard he didn't even play last year, but I mean, you already know he 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 wanted the best two way players in the league, so can't really say nothing about it. James Harden, let's be honest, bro. If Kyrie at a 33, James Harden should be at a 32, bro. James Harden fell off. Whether we all like it or not, James Harden fell off. He not the same James. He ain't. He ain't the same James. He not. Mm. So, James Harden, number 11. Who's number 10? Who is number 10? Devin Booker. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess, bro. I I guess, bro. I guess. I guess he can stay here. I guess he can stay here. I guess he can stay here. They did choke, but I guess. I guess they can stay here, bro. He can stay here, bro. Number 10, I guess. He probably would have been better off at live, like, probably, like, number 11 or 12. But, I, cool, 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 number 10, cool, number 10. Number 9, John Morant. I mean, I would have put him at like eleven or ten. He probably would have cracked top ten. I purpose, I probably say ten. I say move him down one. He he would have been top ten. But that's cool for John Morant. Kevin Durant is number eight. He was he was number one last year. What what changed? He didn't change. So what changed? When Durant played, he was one of the best players on the planet. The problem for the former MVP is that he couldn't stay on the floor. A knee injury cost him almost two months worth of games. Okay, so because he was injured. Cause he was injured. I mean, I I get that, but I still would have put him top five. I mean, injured or not, I still would have put him top five at least. Eight? You tell me it's seven people. I mean, I I probably know two better. Three. You could argue three that's better than KD. But eight? You tell me it's seven people above him? That's just just they just clear out. Now I know LeBron, Curry, and probably Giannis is three that's definitely above him, because we obviously ain't seen them yet. But that's only that's three. And he number eight. So who is the other four? Okay, I mean, they did sweep them, but I know Justin Tatum moved to the finals, bro, but nah, nah, nah. And I like Justin Tatum. He a dookie. I like Justin Tatum, but nah. Oh, nah. I know he swept them, but nah, nah. Jason Tatum probably eight. I put Kevin Durant at seven. I I won't put Kevin Durant at seven. I really put him at five. Not really five. He probably he really top three, four, top four. If I'm not being biased, because Kevin Durant is my favorite player in the league. 
So if I'm not being biased, he would be top four. Top four, top five. Jason Tatum, number seven, though. I mean, hey, hey, all right, I guess, bro. Now, this is shocking here. LeBron is six? He didn't even crack five? No. No. And I haven't seen a certain amount of people. I haven't seen certain people yet. But I know. I, I, I think. No. 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 Bro, even LeBron haters will put him in the top five. I probably would have put him in the top four. Like I'm saying, I'm not being biased, even though I'm a Laker fan. But I, I would have put him top four at least. I would have had. I don't know. You got to do it a little weird. Curry just won, so I would put Curry at number one because he's the champion. You could say. I would then probably put Giannis at two. LeBron at three, KD at four. You can interchange those two. And then at five, I'd probably put Jokic at five or Luka. Luka or Jokic at five. Luka, Jokic at five, and then like interchange between Luka and Jokic at six. But LeBron James is number six. Nah, this this getting crazy. This getting crazy. Why they say he failed? I know because okay, so because they because they missed the playoffs. That's crazy. Top five. Top five, bro. Hey, man. Before we get into the top five, man, if you haven't already, man, follow, follow, subscribe, man. But this top five, bro, this top five. Who's number five? ESPN. This man just won the NBA championship, meaning I, he just won finals MVP and the NBA championship. Wouldn't that make him the number one player? Am I am I tweaking or No way y'all saying this. No way y'all saying this right here. 
but an ankle injury did keep him off the floor. Are you telling me this this ankle injury is the reason why he not number one? In his absence, his teammates stepped up and kept the Warriors afloat to secure the West number three seed. Perhaps that, in addition to the rise of the MVP contenders below, is the reason. What? Bro, he won the championship. That should put him at number one. Right? Am I tripping? Who is number one then? Steve Kerr? Bro. I'm reading that right, right? Who made this? Over. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They got beat by the heat. If I can't, I don't even, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, bro. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he should have been top five. He could have been six. But then, I mean, to be real, he's not even better than. 
let's let's be honest. Okay, yeah, he averaged thirty, but basically, so did LeBron. And that's 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 the, really the only thing they're saying right here is he averaged thirty as a center. That's it. I mean, I mean, that's cool and all, but. He hasn't done anything. He didn't win MVP, so that 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 didn't push him up. He okay. He got the scoring title. All right. But other than that, I mean, he he still can't get past the second round. He lost against the Heat. I'm, I'm just, I can't even, I don't even, I mean, now Luka Doncic is cold, but like I said, Luka Doncic should be at least like top four, no, I mean, top, not top four, he should at least be five or six, interchangeable between him and Jokic. Three though, better than Curry, who beat him. Do they not get that? If Luca would have beat Curry, he would have been in the finals. But that didn't happen. Curry led the Warriors over Luca, which means he should be. Curry should be number one anyway. He he literally won the championship. What do they not get about that? Why do they do this all the time? Curry is literally the champion. He won finals MVP. He won it all. He 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 won it all. Why is he not number one? Why didn't he crack the top three at least? If he not number one, why he didn't crack the top three? This is nothing against Luka Doncic, but. He is he is not supposed to be top three on this list. Six, 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 five, yeah, four. You kind of pushing it at that point, but three, three over the. I'm a, I'm still saying this, but yes, Luka Doncic is cold, but over Curry, LeBron, KD. Who number two, bro? That's recent advice. Is so I get he was the MVP, bro. I do. I get he was MVP, bro. But again, Curry beat him before he beat Luca. Why is he not number two? It, I mean, like I said, six, borderline maybe five, but two. Now he is the. I, I would say yeah, he the best center in the league. He over and beat that's for sure. But over Curry, Katie, LeBron, even even really Luca. Listen, I, I, okay, Giannis, you, you gotta catch a stray. I'm sorry, but he don't even supposed to be here. Top five, yes. Top four, yes. Maybe even top three. Probably top two. You, you could, I mean, it's, you know, you can, you can do it any kind of way. He belong at the top four, top three, regardless, probably, most likely. Top four, top five, easy, of course. Top four, easy, of course. But number one, 
over over Curry, who like I I keep saying is like, oh, am I the only one that gets? He won the whole thing. Giannis lost to who? Who did he lose to? The Celtics. If Giannis is one, Jason. Ugh. I'm gonna make my own tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own list. I'm doing that right after this, bro. It should have been. It should have been Curry. You could argue LeBron. No. Okay. Let me see. It would. It should have been Curry. I put Giannis at number two. It should have been third. Should have been KD or LeBron. But let's just say we're gonna say we're gonna say LeBron. Then KD and then Luca five. Or if you wanna do it, like I said, you can interchange it. Jokic five. But since let's 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 do the MVP thing. Okay. Let's do the MVP thing. So we got Giannis. No, we got Curry number one. He won everything. He he's the champion. Le, uh Giannis at number two. KD, no. LeBron at number three. KD, number four. Jokic, number five. Luka, number six. And B, number seven. Jason Tatum, number eight. Loki, you could put Jason Tatum over in B, too. I'm sorry. But... I want to. Who? They ain't gonna never release who made this, is there? I gotta know who made this. He need to be. He need to be checked into the clinic or something. He. This list had a lot wrong with it. The top five was completely wrong. Top ten really completely wrong. Kyrie left out of the top fifteen. Kyrie left out of the top 20, top 15. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, and ESPN lose credibility every single day. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't. But hey, man. Like, comment, let me know what you think, man. This one threw me for a real loop.